SunSim lets network decision makers and security professionals visualize their security risks and develop policies that best meet the overall goals of their community. By simulating the decision-making behaviors of the people using the network, SenSim captures the real outcomes of security policy decisions, not just the intended ones. Users make decisions every day that can compromise or bolster security. SenSim captures many of those behaviors, as we'll soon see here. This version of SenSim focuses on malware infections in a network and the user behaviors that inhibit or enable that spread. On the left, users can set assumptions about their people, uh, their network of computers, uh, the security strategy that they have now, or ones that they'd like to explore for the future, uh, and then different attack scenarios that they'd like to look at. We've been uh, focusing on Configure, as it's a, a representative um, worm out there, uh, but we're also looking at Stuxnet, as it's been getting um, uh, inflicting the most damage uh, recently. Uh, in the future, we might also look at insider threats. So on the left, you can put in uh, inputs into the simulation. On the right, you can see some of the outputs. Uh, at the top here, we have a visualization of the network of people and computers. Uh, if you zoom in, you can see uh, every uh, simulated person in the network, every simulated computer. If you mouse over, you can see a little bit of information uh, about them. Uh, and this is sort of a, uh, a simplified and combined visualization of uh, all the pieces in the model. Uh, you can actually split that out um, on this side and look at the computers on their own and the people on their own. And you can see sort of the, the computers are organized into subnets and then connected to uh, a main switch and then a firewall and then the, the internet. Uh, whereas the, comp the, the people are connected via a social network. Uh, so generally, these simulated people uh, know and talk to everyone within their work group, but then they also have connections outside of that work group. And so we're modeling all of those connections, uh, and it's that structure that helps us model a lot of the, the behavior uh, that we need to. So if we go back to this side, uh, the top gives you kind of a qualitative idea of what's going on. Uh, at the bottom, you have some more quantitative metrics, such as uh, the infection density, uh, the productivity that your people have, um, their general threat appreciation, uh, and then uh, sometime soon we will be uh, monetizing uh, the costs of this malware infection, both in terms of lost productivity, but also in terms of the IT administrative costs. Okay, so enough talking about the, the static view of the model. Let's actually run the simulation. So when you click play, uh, we're actually having all of the workers of the network uh, go about their work day trying to get tasks done. A lot of these tasks involve uh, using their computer, using the network, trying to share information with each other. Uh, if you look up at the visualization at the top, you can see there's a, uh, a bubble uh, describing every event that's happening. So people are trying to share files with each other. They might do that with removable media like USB drives if that's available and if they feel like that's the best strategy. Uh, they may also use the Windows file sharing or some other method. Um, at the same time we have a malware infection going on where it's gotten in at some point and it tries to spread either through the network of computers or through the network of people via that removable media. So over time you see the infection rate start to increase as the malware spreads. Um, you see productivity uh, climb during the workday, but then it also starts to wane as people are distracted from the infection or they can't use their computer because of the infection or they're busy telling other people about it so they're not getting their jobs done. All of that comes into play here. Uh, at the same time, their threat appreciation, their, you know, their appreciation of the malware threat might initially be low, but as they actually have personal experience with malware, that threat appreciation goes way up and their decision making changes accordingly.